Hi, let me introduce with this plant. This is known as Jamioculcus, popularly known as Gigi plant. This is one of the most selective plants that can sustain under any low light area or any dark corner of a room. And also looks lively under any fluorescent light for a longer period of time. So nowadays it is much popular for interior decoration and you may come across this plant wherever you go, like big malls or airport or any office, big buildings, anywhere. And this is the plus point of this plant. But one drawback is here. After four or five months, you cannot get such type of shining texture of this leaf. It cannot grow and it cannot be bushy anymore. Rather, you find the leggy growth of the plants. So, it uh, loves bright indirect sunlight. So find a place, if you place them outdoor, so find a place that receive indirect sunlight but never give this plant direct sunlight. But for interior decoration, never keep this plant near any sunny window. So what will happen if you put this plant under direct sunlight? So you find the, uh, the leaves will burn down, becomes yellow. If you find any symptoms of burnt leaves, Im immediately change the location of the plant. Jamioculcus likes to be in a dry soil and remain in a drought-like conditions for a while between the watering because it has a proper water retention mechanism. And uh, you see, this is tuber, a potato or ginger-like structure. This is actually the stem of this plant. And these are the petioles, these are the petioles. And uh, this tuber, these petioles and the fleshy leaves all stores more than enough water to sustain. So most of the time overwatering kills the plant. Uh, so the watering schedule should be if they are in low light area or in winter, uh, water them when the soil is completely dry or else if they are in outer or any bright sunny days, so water them once in a week or it can be twice or thrice a month. As most of the time we kill these plants due to overwatering, so the some basic uh, fundamental things you have to know. When watering, water them thoroughly so that some water comes out through the bottom of the plant. Then allow the soil dry completely for the next watering. Again, make sure no, no water standing at the bottom of the planter. If you notice the stems of this petiole become soft or find yellow leaves or drooping leaves, that means overwatering. So then stop watering for a while until the soil is dry. So if you notice any cavity or shrink on this stalk, that means that means your plant is under watering. But it's always best uh, uh, to underwater than overwatering your Gigi plant. The soil of the Gigi plant should be nutrient rich and uh, well drained. You may follow this soil mixture for your Gigi plant. Apply fertilizer moderately, not so often. I prefer some organic compost or a balanced liquid fertilizer on a regular basis. Let's say once in a month in their active period, that means um, in February and March. Winter is the dormant period, so never apply any fertilizer during this time. GZ plant does not require any pruning. Just remove the yellow leaves throughout the year. Yes, you can cut some uh, stems uh, that are overgrown or any leggy growth. It happens when your plant is deprived of sunlight for a very long time. Jamioculcus or Gigi plant is very resistant plant. It is not attacked by pest or any disease very quickly. Sometimes spiders, mites may attack this plant if they are placed indoors for a long time. Better you wipe the leaves with, uh, with soap water. That prevents a lot more risk. Or spray the dilute solution of neem oil while treating the same with other house plants. In fact, we choose this plant for interior decorations and we keep them inside. So you have to do some routine work. Sometimes you see all the stalks are bending towards one direction because of the sunlight. Uh, so rotate your plant periodically so, uh, to have even growth all around. And one uh, good thing is about this plant is it doesn't matter if you change the location of the plant uh, quite often. And second routine work is uh, keep the dust away from the leaves. 
that means just simply clean the leaves with plain water so that you can get the shiny texture of the leaves and you can protect your plants from the pests also this jamio kulkash or jamifolia or jiji plant or jet plant this is very easy to care and very tough plant easily adapt to any situations or any conditions let's say heat and humid or low light or bright light or indoor or outdoor anywhere or it can be your lifelong companion if you remember two things one is keep away from any direct sunlight and second is let the soil dry out completely before next watering remember these two factors now these are all i have to inform about these plants hope you enjoy this video thank you